Right, so we're back at the circ with Matt Catches. Hello. <laughs> and uh, we're both on the same pegs again. Matt had a fish in last week's video, which will be in the top icon right now. Go check out that video. And if you want to see how Matt did keep, catch that fish more in depth, go to Matt's video. His link will be down in below in the second or top link in the description. So, my tactics are, I've been round and baited that far bank with Matt earlier on when we were walking round. But I did film it and <laughs> I kind of deleted all my videos of walking to the peg and everything and I also came down the bank earlier, my barrow fell everywhere and it was going to be a really funny intro to this video I'll tell you what, it's something you missed, it was worth it <laughs> it was but hilarious I've now deleted that file, so I've got my bivvy up, my bed chairs up getting the rods ready now, let's get rods in my bank sticks are in, so let me show you what tactics I'm using and let's get straight into it okay so tactics, same as usual I've got a helicopter rig here, so this is my rig and it can spin round and move up if it goes too deep in silt. And then if we look closer from the helicopter rig here, I've got a nice boom spinner rig, bait screw, and I'm going to stick on the CM1 pop-ups. And these are glugged very nicely and I'm also going to scatter CM1 boilies around it, but the one on the far bank, I've already scattered CM1 boilies all around that. So let's get this rod tied up i've wrapped it up it's 17 and two foot of wraps and that's how far that far bank is so i'm going to ping it over get it right on the money if i need to do another cast if it's not perfect i will recast it so let's get this rod straight in Right, so I cast it in and I'm not too happy with that. It went a bit to the left where I wanted it. So let's get it back in and hopefully my last cast. I don't really like recasting, but this rod's going to be in for the rest of the evening. So I want it perfect. On the money. So me recasting the second time is making me more confident of where my bait's laying and hopefully getting me a high chance of getting a fish. So let's get this rod on the pod and hopefully get a fish on the bank soon. Right, so that rod is now on the pod with the alarm turned on. So let's get my other rod with some bait on it and get that on the game just literally not far, probably six wraps out just over there into the open and hopefully that can bring me a fish. Let's get straight into it. Right, so the lighting conditions has gone a bit bad now. Let me just sort the camera. Uh, but yeah, my rods are still in, the sun is going down and it's just starting rain on me as I start filming. Uh, but yeah, let's jump in my bivvy real quick because it just started absolutely smashing down. Right, so I do look like a ghost right now because it's very bright so I just turn my torch on. Uh, but yeah, rods are out. I've had not much really. Uh, Matt's had a few bites and a few dropbacks, uh, a few liners. Uh, but yeah, there's not actually too much to update. I'm just about to cook up some food and eat. Uh, it's about 8 o'clock now, but I am expecting a fish through the night and I have baited up uh, on my spot from the other side. Probably a quarter of a kilo went in. So I'm really hoping for a fish, especially my third time here now. It would be very nice and. Uh, I am going to go up open cast in a couple of weeks and I am going to an awesome fishery very soon with Mistral Bait so stay tuned for that as well. One more thing, I am nearly, nearly, nearly on 7,000 subscribers and at 7,000 subscribers I'm going to do a giveaway but I'm not too sure what to give away and I can't decide so let me know down in the comments what you think I should give away and then I'll start arranging the giveaway. But between now and 10,000 subscribers, every 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to do giveaway. So 7,000, 8,000, 9,000 and 10,000 will be a very big one. So I'm going to do a lot of giveaways, so stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell notification button so you're notified all the times I do giveaways. But yeah, I'm uh, going to stick some Netflix on now, go have a chat to Matt for a bit, have my pot noodle at Matt's Bivy or something. And yeah, uh, I'll catch up to you in the night, hopefully having a fish, but if not, I'll see you in the morning. So I'll catch you later. Right, so I just got back to my bivvy and it is exactly, let me just check off. Right, so I just got back to my bivvy and it is exactly 24 minutes past 12. And it is quite late. I've been at uh, Matt's bivvy just having a chat, having a little social with Matt. And uh, I did have about 30 minutes ago, maybe an hour ago. 
I had a big drop back on my rods. Uh, I was just walking back uh, to Matt's bivy and like two, two steps out my door and my bobbin went straight up very tight and then slowly just dropped back down. Worst thing I would see, but I do think it was a drop back. It could have been a liner, but with a liner, your bobbin usually drops quite fast, but it was a very slow drop. So it looked like a pickup from a carp or a bream, I'm not too sure. Uh, but yeah, it's quite late, as, as I've said. I'm probably going to stick some Netflix on and get asleep and be awake tomorrow at about 8 o'clock. Uh, but that has boosted my confidence for a bite tonight. And I do think I could have a fish in the night. Just got to have my fingers crossed and fingers crossed I can. Uh, but yeah, I'll catch you in the morning anyway. See you later. Right, Matt, got a fish on. Yeah. In the net. Right, Matt, that was uh, quite eventful, wasn't it? It but was bloody eventful. When do late night bites ever go straight? Never. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's so always the wall. Get her out and have a look. Right, guys. Right guys, as you can see, I have got a fish in the net and it's a beautiful little fat merry. With the way sling, you have a look at that there. With the way sling, 16, 12. Take a look at the patterns on this beauty. Absolutely fantastic fit. I hope he's off, I mean he's off. Going back at us. Go on, go, go back my rod for me. There's a, there's a nice pop up sitting over there for you. I mean, hang on, he's going out. He's got some fat shoulders on him, he has. Really fat shoulders. Right, as you've just seen, Matt had that lovely fish and he has just put it back. And it is like half past five now and I've had about an hour and a half sleep. I'm really tired, uh, but I would still be so chuffed <laughs> with a fish. So hopefully I can have fish. I've had a few more drop back since I last said I had some. Uh, but we had a massive massive like rainstorm and it was smashing it down uh, But I kept having loads of drop backs then so I'll just have to see what happens But it's all on my clothes rod that's in the margin on my right Which that's where Matt is from on his margin on his right So maybe I can have fish we'll have to see but Matt did get that stunning fish And if you do want to check it out head over to Matt's channel link in the description So I'll catch you in the morning. See ya Right, so it is the morning and it's very, very wet. This rain is the quiet it's been all morning, so I've just got out to do a little update. But it's been absolutely smashing it down all night, all morning, and it's been absolutely horrendous. But my rods haven't really done too much. Uh, I've had quite a few dropbacks in the night, like I said, and a few more after I did that clip. But yeah, I've uh, put some more bait in, redone my rods. All I can do now is cross my fingers. So I'm just going to head over to Matt's peg and uh, have a look at some of these pictures that we got last night. Right, so we have came to the end of the session. Matt had that lovely fish last night at five o'clock and uh, it wasn't a bad fish at all, was it? Was it was good, yeah. It was cracking fish, absolutely amazing. Especially this first one I've had from the margin. Just proves the weather's warming up, the fish are getting more active and uh, hopefully there's plenty of fish to come this year. And hopefully plenty of fish from me as well. But I have learned, I am going to change up my tactics next week. I have been fishing on the CM1, but Matt made a good point. Matt was catching off some fishy sort of bait. So I am going to move over to Atlantic Crab. When, the, when it does warm up, the Atlantic Crab does do a lot better than the CM1. The CM1 is a lot more of a winter bait. Uh, so next week I'm going to bring a lot of CM1, uh, a lot of Atlantic Crab, sorry, and a lot of Belk and Shrimp. And hopefully them to bag me a fish in this beautiful lake. And uh, I'm really excited to do a lot more fishing and me and Matt did say earlier that there is a closed season on this lake so in about two weeks time this lake will be closed for about two or three months and then after that me and Matt again smash this lake, probably do sort of a campaign on it and it's going to be really good and we're both really excited for it. Yeah, hopefully get some cracky fish out and uh, see what the year brings. Yeah, so thanks very much for watching this week's video. You've seen quite a lot of Matt's fish but if you want to see it in a bit more detail head over to his channel, the link will be down in the description. So thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. See you in a bit.